Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how can we edit a video in Microsoft PowerPoint. So guys, whenever you will import a video in your presentation, it will look like, like, like this. Like your video will be on your full screen. So let's suppose if you want to make it smaller in the size. So to scale the size, you have an option here. You can use this dots to scale it. Now let's see what more options we have. So you can move it anywhere you want if you want if you want to move it. And along with that, whenever you select the video, you will have some video tools. As you can see, we have a format tab and a playlist uh, playback tab. Now anything related to the appearance of the video uh, that is in the graphics. So it depends on the format we have. So if you want to change it, you can change it in the format tab. So let's see what else we can change. We can change the video style like this. And you have to, if you want to play the video, you can play it from here. Now you have, we have some color smoothing corrections. You can increase the brightness, decrease the brightness or the contrast. Also, you can apply some color filters over here. And if you want to reset your all editings, then you can do it from here. Just reset your design. Now let's see what we have in the, here in the video style group. We have video shapes. So if you want to convert, if you don't want to have your video instead uh, in the rectangular form, instead of that, you can use different uh, different shapes here. So if you want to convert it in the heart shape, so actually it uh, shape. It just mean if you are changing the frame of the video. So if I click here, and as you can see, the frame of the video is not changed. Okay, that what shape means. And one more thing here we have uh, video borders. So if you see here, when I'm when I have selected this video style, then my video is having a white back, uh, border. So if I if I want to change this border color, then I can click in this video border. And I can change easily the color of the video. Similarly, we have a video effects. If you click on that, then you have lots of effect. Even you can add multiple effects, but before that, you have to apply one in one time. So I have applied this preset, and along with that, I'm applying this beveled effect. And let's see if we can add three to four effects or not. So, yes, we can apply that. And using this arrange group, you can arrange your video. Like if you want your video to move in the back side of this uh, logo or the picture. So you can select the video and you can click here. Bring uh, backward. So you have an option send backward. So if you click there, it will just send backward. Similarly, you can bring it forward. Okay. Now you can rotate it from here also. Or you can crop it like this. Great. So this was uh, the editings related, related to this format tab. Now let's see what we can do in the playback tab. In the playback tab, we have some editings related to the, uh, the duration. If you want to change the duration, if you want to trim the video, you want to increase or decrease the volume, then you can do all the things in the playback tab. So here also you can play the video. You can add the bookmarks in the video if you want to add anywhere. So you have to click, uh, select the duration where you want to add the bookmark. If you click here, then you will add a bookmark over here. Similarly, you can remove the big bookmark. To remove the bookmark, you just need to select the video and you have to click on remove bookmark. If you want to trim your video, you just click here in the editing group trim. So you can trim the video using adjusting this knobs. Okay, and click OK. And if you see here, we have two options, fade in and fade out. So what basically it does, uh, when you're increasing the size of fade in and fade out. So let me play the video and, and you'll get it in a better way. So if I if I'll play uh, it without fade, so it will look like this. And if I play, and if I play including the fades, so I'm just keeping the fades of one second and let's play. You can see the difference, right? 
this way you can fade in and fade out for volume you can use this one you can keep the volume low medium high and even you can mute the volume okay so this way guys you can edit a video in microsoft powerpoint that's all for today thank you if you really like the content then please like the video and please subscribe to see more videos like this and you can visit mahagurus.com to see lots of other software courses thank you